Right now we're on our way to the Marlboro Slaughterhouse in Marlboro, New Jersey, and uh, I'll let you know more on the backstory when we get there. The last few times that I've came here, I came here with a few friends, and we had some weird experience happen to us. And I mean, this place is known to be haunted. Now we're getting closer to the barns and the slaughterhouse spot itself, and we'll give you more coverage when we get there. These fields and this land is all the land that Mr. Allen owned. It's crazy, right? Now the reason why he was kicked out of his home was because they needed some space for the psychiatric hospital, for the materials and whatnot, and they wanted his land for it. But he refused and got very angry, but they took it over. It's crazy because Mr. Allen kept breaking into his own house even after the police took it and he refused to let go. Mr. Allen was a patient at the psychiatric hospital here in Marlboro, New Jersey, which is also a very famous landmark in this fine place. Now, he one year with a bunch of other inmates broke out of the psychiatric hospital and went back to his house and broke in again. And then he sweared to anybody that came and he really just wanted to stay alone and contempt in his own environment. Behind all those branches and that brush is a shed that was owned by Mr. Allen. Very, very old. And uh, Mr. Allen was alive in the 1930s from the Marlboro Psychiatric Hospital. And then he escaped and came over to his slaughterhouse, which he owned. And the police tried to get him out of his slaughterhouse, but he refused. Right now we're making our way to where the slaughterhouse used to be before it was burned down a few years ago by some teenagers having some fun. That shed right there was also owned by Mr. Allen in this big field. Now we're going to go around and we're going to show you some more of the stuff that was around this area. This is the inside of one of the barns that maybe he kept his livestock that he slaughtered himself. Here are some more of the sheds in the land. This area right there is where the Marlboro Slaughterhouse stood a few years back. Now you've seen all the land that Mr. Allen owned in his time, 500 acres of land. And we walked the whole thing for you. The psychiatric hospital which took over this land many years ago sent workers down to the slaughterhouse early one morning. And what they found in the slaughterhouse was gruesome. They said they found just dead animals, pigs, sheep, and cattle, dead all around the killing room floor with blood smeared all around. And there was writing in the blood saying, I see you and all will die. Here's my friend Zach who knows more information on the story that I just told. Okay, so after the butchers found the blood writing on the walls. Next day, there was no call for a policeman or a watchman, so everyone thought that everything was going fine at the slaughterhouse. But the next day, when they came in for another day of work, all they saw was blood on the floor, no blood on the walls. And then they saw it coming from the freezer, so they opened up the freezer, and they saw a night watchman hang from a hook. You're probably wondering why Mr. Allen went crazy. Well, it's because in 1933, they took his land to build the psychiatric hospital. That was his life, his land. His land was his work. 
He had nothing after that. They took his livelihood. They took his job. So then, he started to walk around the insane asylum, muttering to himself at night, threatening the people working at the hospital to get his land back. He went crazy. Ironically, over a psychiatric hospital. They threw him in to the psychiatric hospital that took his land and made him crazy in the first place. He had one day escaped, as I said earlier, and tried to take his land back. And now, in a way, he still hasn't left his land, if you believe in the spirit. 